get started. Um, if you guys do want the recipes, you can email me. Um, it's sandra.holterhouse at collins.com. And then I'll send you all the recipes. I'm just gonna go through nine different items here. And um, then I'm gonna show you, I made a bunch of them as well this morning. So I'll show you kind of some of the things that I made and maybe give you some tips and tricks. So um, we're doing here breakfast for lunch. <laughs> and um, I focused on three different areas. Um, I focused on eggs and then I focused on um, oatmeal, which I think is really healthy or oat bran for getting that into the diet. And then also I focused on um, protein powders. So some things that you can make with protein powder as well. And there is evidence that if you get more protein in in the morning, you know, generally they say 24 to 35 grams that you'll eat less later in the day. It will help keep you more satisfied. So we'll get started here. Um, so the first one is a quick microwave scramble. And I usually make this in the morning with egg whites. So the thing I love about this is it's like two minutes. It's very quick and you can get out the door super fast if you need to. Uh, but basically you use about a third um, up to maybe a half a cup of egg whites. You microwave those for 45 seconds. And then I take them out at that point and I stir them. And then I'll add maybe some pepper if I want a little seasoning on it. And then I might go ahead and microwave for another, my microwave takes another 30 to 45 seconds depending on how much I'm making. You just scramble it up with the fork. And then I love to put um, smoked salmon on mine. So I'll show you a, a sample of that. Um, but yeah, you could put a lot of different seasonings on there. Obviously the picture here shows cheese and it looks like maybe some broccoli and other stuff in there. I don't take that kind of time in the morning, but um, that's, uh, it's a great and easy way to uh, make a quick and filling breakfast. The next one is a poached micro egg. And I made this this morning as well. So I'll show you my sample when we get there. Um, but I took a wide uh, cup and you go ahead and put a cup of water in there. And then you go ahead and microwave that for 90 seconds. You take that out of the microwave, add a teaspoon of vinegar, you crack your egg into the cup, and then you cover it with a paper towel. And it says 30 to 40 seconds here. I, mine probably took closer to a minute. I'm gonna say 55 seconds to a minute, but I didn't want mine runny. So it just kind of depends on how um, you want to eat the egg as well. So you might have to experiment a little bit, but another super quick way to get an egg into the morning routine. And the third one here for eggs is a baked egg in avocado. And avocado is super popular. We know we do the avocado toast and all that type of thing. But um, I saw, when I saw this recipe, it looked uh, very intriguing to me. So I did make this this morning. Um, so you heat your oven up to 425. This might be more of something you do on the weekend if you don't have a lot of time uh, during the week. Um, cut the avocado in half, remove the pit. And I also took out a little bit of extra avocado. So I had a pretty good size hole. And then I made, I did two avocados. So four slices, four halves, and then I used two eggs. So I um, separated the egg white from the yolk and I put the egg white in first and then I spooned the yolk into those four eggs. And they said, uh, don't overfill because then it will spill out into your pan in the oven. Um, I put chives on mine and some a um, little bit of pepper and then I had some bacon bits as well. So I'll show you those when we get through here. Um, I ended up baking mine for 20 minutes. Um, the, they weren't quite solid at, 50, at 15 minutes. So I went ahead and added another five minutes. And um, I'll show you what I did is I then took off a, the peel off of one and then sliced it and it's, you know, it's set up. So then I'm throwing it on um, my salad here for lunch. Next recipe, overnight oats. Uh, these have been around for a while, um, but just another, if you just need to grab something quick in the morning, you can get this already the night before. Um, the only thing I might not add is if you're adding some fruit that will brown like apple or banana, you might wanna wait to add that in the morning. Um, but you use about a half a cup of milk, um, 
uh, depending on how much carb you want in the morning, I'd say maybe a third of a cup to a half a cup of oats. And that would also depend on how much fruit or other um, items you're adding with carb. And then you'd also want to add, um, I like to add some chia seed that helps, um, you know, make it more uh, full. The chia seed expands like tapioca. And so that kind of fills in the, that space when you add that milk. Um, then you just stir it all together, put it in the uh, refrigerator overnight. And then again, you can add in um, whatever else you want to add. I might put my nuts in the night before or seeds. I love to use cacao nibs in mine as well. And I'll show you a sample of um, the one I put together this morning. Um, do it yourself instant oatmeal. Um, a lot of times I don't like the instant oatmeals that you buy um, in the store just because Either they have too much sugar, they also add a lot of sodium. So if you're watching your blood pressure, you may not want to use um, the packet ones. They add that sodium because they wanna bring the boiling point down so that it cooks quicker. But if you have a little time to make your own and you have a little bit extra time to cook it um, in the microwave, then um, I would say avoid adding that extra sodium. Um, so I went ahead and I mixed up a batch of this. Um, I did a half batch actually. So I split the, uh, the menu here in half or the recipe here in half, but this calls for four cups of oatmeal. And instead of ground oatmeal, I added oat bran to mine. And then I added the, the brown sugar, cinnamon, um, and just a, a titch of salt. And then I added some, um, I think I had cacao nibs, uh, pecans, and goji berries to mine. And then I divvied that up into bags. So I'll show you that when um, I stop sharing the screen here. And then I put mine into baggies. I can transport it easy and put throw it into a cup at work. Um, or you know, if you have the nice little jars and you want to throw it in that, that looks really nice as well. And then when you go to make it, you just add your um, boiling water or put the half a cup of water in and uh, microwave it. So quick to do. Um, baked peanut butter bars. I was actually gonna make these this morning and then I realized I didn't have enough peanut butter. So um, I'm road tripping to the grocery store this afternoon, but this is another just, um, you know, even if you didn't want this for breakfast, just a nice uh, treat or snack and you make it with ripe bananas. Um, so you don't have um, that added sugar you add in that peanut butter and the oatmeal and you just mash that all together, stir that all together, and then um, press it into a square pan. And you can, um, I sometimes will put um, some chocolate chips or some cacao nibs right into the batter and then just uh, bake it that way. Um, or you could do what they've done here and put the um, items on top after you've baked it for a little bit, I would probably um, bake it for half the time and then put the items on top and then bake it the rest of the time, unless you want it real melty and soft. Um, but then you just bake it in the 350 oven for 15 to 18 minutes. And a, a great healthy snack, you know, no matter if you're making it for kids or grandkids or yourself, um, instead of having all that added um, sugar, you have natural sugar in there for the banana. Um, here's a mocha protein smoothie. So um, I had a smoothie for breakfast this morning. Um, sometimes, you know, if you're busy, um, it's just a really uh, quick uh, item to, to throw together and get going. I know sometimes you can't make it in the morning, though, if you have people sleeping and it's too noisy to make. So um, if you have a blender at work, that'd be a great option for those of you that work. But go ahead and add your milk in here. Um, I don't usually have cold coffee around, so I skip that one, but I'll generally put in some ice, um, a scoop of protein powder, maybe some coffee granules and cacao powder or cocoa powder. Um, you can add that shredded coconut if you have that. Um, I, I keep some of that around. And then I usually um, add a little bit of banana to mine, so I don't add um, the maple syrup. Um, unless I wouldn't have any banana or dates would be another thing you could blend up and put in there as well. Some people actually make a date syrup. Um, so they'll mix water and dates together and store that in the fridge as a paste and then use that as a um, alternative for their sweetener. So it's more of a natural sweetener. Um, next thing I 
wanted to show you was these two ingredient protein crepes. You could probably get by with this if you have a few minutes of time um, before you go to work or otherwise maybe a weekend item. Um, but it's simply a half a cup of egg whites with a fourth of a cup of protein powder. And you heat your little eight inch skillet and just put a very thin layer, mix that, all, that powder all together with the um, egg whites and put a real thin layer in the bottom of the pan, just like you were making a crepe and um, just let it set up and then flip it over. Um, I made um, three crepes this morning. I had to add just a little bit more egg white and a little bit more protein powder to get my three um, crepes made, um, but I'll show you those as well. And this is something you could do savory. I've put in um, spinach and vegetables into these, or I've also put in uh, strawberries, something like that. So you can serve it um, either way. I wanna tell you, it doesn't taste like a crepe with flour. It's a little bit more eggy than that. But if you're willing to give up, um, you know, for the sake of getting the protein and the, the healthier crepe in um, and something different variety wise, uh, it's well worth it. Um, I've got another protein bar here. And this has, um, again, the peanut butter, the protein powder, um, maple syrup and salt. And you can um, melt chocolate chips on top or melt chocolate chips and pour them on top. Um, that's an option. Um, but this is one you make without um, baking. So you just press this simply into your pan and um, set, put it in the fridge to set up. All right, that's all on the recipes there. But let me go ahead and grab, like, can you guys see that? Thumbs up if you can see me. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna start grabbing some of the things I made this morning. So this was the poached egg and that was in that cup. So it came out pretty good. I got, I've got mine fir pretty firm here. Um, I then, when I was working on the avocado and taking um, pieces out of the middle of the avocado for my um, avocado dish, I put some of that on here and then just simply put it on a piece of toast. So I'm gonna be stocked up on breakfast for a while here. Um, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is the egg whites with the smoked salmon in it. And again, um, you make this in less than two minutes in the morning. So very simple to make and um, very filling as well. So you get uh, the egg white and then you get some salmon in there. So you get a good amount of protein, lean protein with some healthy fat as well. Uh, let me grab these. So these are exciting to make. I hadn't made these before. Um, let me tip this up here. So this is the avocado. And again, I did separate the whites and the yolk and then I put the whites in first and then spoon the yolk over top. I made um, four halves and um, I put a little bit of bacon bits and chives on top as well. I'm really excited to try these. You see those okay? Uh, but you bake them in the oven um, very simply right into in their uh, peel. And let's see, well, so this was what kind of I'm excited about when I have for my lunch today. I made the protein crepes. Let me just grab a sample here. See that okay? You guys see that okay? So I took a, made a protein crepe and then I sliced up that avocado that I cooked the egg in. I have put some spinach on there and some tomatoes. So I'm gonna eat that for my lunch today. Again, breakfast for lunch is great anytime. Um, and then here is another example. These are the little packets I made of the oatmeal. And this has the oat bran in it as well, or you could use grind up some of your oats to add in there. I've got the cacao nibs, I've got pecans and goji berries in there as well. So I made um, half a batch and that ended up making six half cup packets for me. And let's see, this is one I did not um, talk or show you 
but I do this quite frequently on my way into work. I'll put in um, about a third of a cup of oat bran, which is very um, beneficial for lowering cholesterol. And then I'll add my blueberries on top. When I get to work and I'm ready to eat, I'll go ahead and put my water on top of there and then just microwave that. And that heats the blueberries up nice. Probably You probably only have to cook it for like a minute to a minute and a half in the microwave and the blueberries will burst up a little bit and give it some sweetness and nice character. And last but not least, this is my um, overnight oats. And as you can see, I just put it together. I haven't stirred it yet, but you can see the chia seed and I put in blueberries. I used soy milk. I put in um, a third of a cup of oatmeal and I also put in the cacao nibs in there as well. Um, so this could be a great breakfast for tomorrow morning. I don't usually like to leave these in um, the fridge for very long. So I only make one or two at a time. And again, don't add any fruit that will brown until um, that morning or when you're gonna eat it. Um, but yeah, you can add peanut butter. There's so many different options of what you can do with these. And again, you don't have to, you can serve it warm. You could heat it up and serve it warm, but um, it's nice cold as well. I usually just eat it cold. And I, that's all I have to show you on um, the food items. I do like to show people, um, when I use the protein powder, I usually use something like this, um, which is a milk-based, it's whey-based, um, a, a milk protein, and it only has whey protein isolate in it. So I'm looking for something that's very pure. I don't want any um, added sugars or artificial sweeteners or anything like that added. If I decide to go plant-based, then I would probably use um, hemp seed powder and you can get that at a lot of the health food stores as well, or you can buy the hemp seed um, and grind that up in your blender and then use that as your uh, protein base as well. Probably very similar in um, quantity for the, about the same amount of protein. So those are all um, some options that you can do. Um, do you guys have any questions for me? That's all I have to show you.